Hey, I'm Ryan Loco, professional sports photographer. I've shot everything from bull riding, basketball, football, uh, hockey, MMA, pro wrestling, you name it, I've shot it. And I've been with PFL since the beginning. So I'm bringing you in focus into what fight night looks like, as well as my life behind the lens. So I'd say the most asked question I get is, what sort of camera do I need? You know, for everyday, day-to-day -day situations, something like this, your cell phone, it's gonna get the job done. However, if you're gonna be perched over a cage trying to get shots like that, or let's say you're trying to capture your kid's soccer game, cell phone is not gonna cut it. So why don't we go over a couple things that you can look for and pick up to help you with photography. This is a mirrorless point and shoot. It's easy for me to throw in my pocket, I can throw it in my backpack. In fact, when I lived in Europe, this was the only camera I carried. It was perfect for what I needed. Now, however, when I'm shooting a fight, this is not gonna cut it. Then we have something like this. This is a DSLR. It allows me to change lenses. Say you're shooting something like your kid's lacrosse game. The action goes all the way on the other side of the field. That small mirrorless point and shoot's not gonna cut it. However, now you're able to grab one of these, a zoom lens. Toss that bad boy on and you'll be able to capture all the action. Now let's say the action moves closer. Sort of like what you're seeing here in the fight. I can then throw one of these on, a wide angle lens, and it allows me to capture all the action, no problem. Polaroid camera. Yes, they still make these, and yes, I still buy them. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes on studio days, I like to take photos, whether it's the fighter, or a pro wrestler, any of the athletes, and that way they come right out of the camera, I have them sign their name at the bottom, and I have a cool little piece of memorabilia for myself. Now, as with everything, retro is always in. That's why I have one of these. Mamiya RB67, it shoots 120 film, so it's a medium format film camera. What that means is, it gives me a much larger negative, which allows me to have a lot more detail than with a normal 35 millimeter film shot. Also, using one of these has a top-down viewfinder. It causes me to slow down. Now I actually have to take my time. I have to compose my shot. With a roll of 120 film, I only have 10 photos. So it's not like I can hold the button down like with one of these and just take a ton of photos. I really have to think. And it's a very nice break from just carrying around one of these digital cameras and just shooting away aimlessly. Now, do you need all these cameras? Absolutely not. There's a saying, the best camera is the one you have on you. So whether you have a mirrorless point and shoot, a DSLR, an old school medium format film camera, or heck, even your cell phone, you're gonna be able to capture incredible images. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.